Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, I wanted to take advantage of the fact that I was able to get an early Clone Wars uh, core set for Star Wars Legion, and I figured I would be doing some painting on my clone troopers, and I figured let's try an easy way to get these ready to bring to the table. So uh, I'm going to be doing some, some painting with a wash on these guys and uh, doing a really quick way to get them done. Um, so yes, uh, now these guys are all primed. I did use Tamiya White Primer. Uh, I definitely want them to start out as white as possible. So uh, I'm skipping that step in general because I had to do that in advance so they'd be dry and ready for painting. But as is the case with most of my miniatures, the first thing I do is prime them and uh, I'm going to be painting them. Um, so one of the things we're going to be doing is I'm going to be using some wash ink from Green Stuff World. This is going to be... Uh, uh, Atramentium or Atramentum Black, uh, and this is from the acrylic wash ink paints set. They did send me these to look at, by the way. So uh, I did not purchase these. I'm letting you guys know these. They sent me these to uh, to look at. So let's uh, see how well they work. And also, do want to remind you guys about the giveaway. There's actually two Legion giveaways. There's a spot gloss giveaway going on right now. You just have to leave a comment and be a subscriber, uh, but that's specifically for my Legion videos. And also there's the general channel giveaway for, uh, you know, leaving a comment on any video to win a $25 Amazon gift card. So those are all going on right now. And we're going to get this, uh, we're going to get this party started. So now I used to use Nuln oil from Citadel on everything. And so that's kind of like the big difference here that I'm noticing right away is uh, these are, are dropper bottles like many paints are, but uh, a lot of these have uh, been like sealed at the top. So one of the things you have to do is have like a thumbtack or something ready to go ahead and, and poke through and break that seal. Uh, but some of them were sealed, some of them weren't. Uh, it's not you know, a big deal or anything, but if you happen to get some kind of paints like this and you can't squeeze anything out, don't squeeze too hard. Just stick a thumbtack in there. So uh, I'm gonna put some of this in my little palette. And uh, I like being able to just squeeze out a little bit and uh, it'll go there. Um, now, sometimes uh, folks will water theirs down or thin theirs out. I figured I would do these pretty much just straight up. And I'm going to cover, uh, I think I'm gonna start off covering everything. Now this is very similar to what would be like the dip method. But in this case, I'm just going to cover it onto the mini all around. Um, and so it's, as you can see, it's getting into the creases really well. It's handling just like, uh, you know, like you expect a wash to handle. And it's covering where we want it. And then we'll come back around afterwards and kind of sop up the spots that we don't want too much. And this is another reason why I wanted the uh, the prime so bright and that's why I usually go with the Tamiya white is because this could easily leave them looking gray if uh, if otherwise and since that's so white it's gonna shine through and and do other good things for us you know and Now, ideally, we want this to collect in all the recesses around the crevices of the armor. Uh, and I'm going to go back over and kind of pick this, dry off our brush a little bit, and pick up some of these lighter areas here. Just get some of that off of there. But yeah, there we go. Like, like we've already got a good, you know, we amount of detail showing from this on let me go ahead and I'll do the rifle as well you know for consistency's sake don't want to miss parts and anybody can do this this is really easy it's a great way to just get you guys started we got a little too much in the mask there a little bit too much over here and you know you can do different colors too. That set has a whole bunch of different ones. And so you can put like blue in the mask if you want. You know, and you can get, like ideally when you get better, you'll only drop the shade in the specific spots that you want it in. But covering it all over does look pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with a lot of that. All right. I think that's a good, good place to be. And we'll do some more like this and then let them 
dry. But yeah, I kind of like the way that that looks. It's a really good starting point. All right, and here we are. They are finished, at least as far as the wash goes. Um, it's a real nice way to get all that detail in there. Um, it's not perfect, but it's a really good kind of one-stop shop to to kind of get all of your, your highlights and your shading kind of done uh, in a single step. So uh, that's, uh, especially if you got a lot of folks to go ahead and do, uh, this is a pretty good uh, first step. Now we'll move on to do a little bit more. And this again only took a few minutes. Of course we let it dry for a while. Let's do some more. So if you're satisfied, you can totally stop there and maybe just paint the guns a little bit. But I'm gonna try and do a little dry brushing and uh, I'm gonna get my brush really wet. And this is uh, an older brush, but uh, you know, I don't usually use the best brushes and I, I don't want very much on my brush, but yeah, I want very little on there and I'm just gonna start kind of going over this and getting all of those highlights and details and we'll still leave all of the shading on there. And of course I will come back and do the gun after, uh, but you know, because otherwise I'd then get white all over my rifle. And I don't necessarily want to do that. And if you want, you can even come in with a finer brush and specifically get some of these parts. Um, and this is optional because like, I think, you know, you don't even have to really do this. This is just one option because, you know, when we compare the two types now, because sometimes a little bit gets in there and maybe I had it a little too wet, but you know, and we, we do a comparison there, you can see, um, this one looks like a little cleaner and this one looks like a little dustier, you know, so it depends if you want to go one way or another. And then, so, and then we'll just paint the uh, paint the gun and be done. Another, uh, another one of the inks. This is uh, Opulentus Black, and this is an intensity ink. So this is actually more like a contrast paint. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there, similar uh, to some of the Citadel contrast paints. And I'm gonna put this in here. And and these contrast paints, a lot of times people will use them just like regular washes, but they they don't go everywhere. And this is a way to make this kind of a darker gray, but not fully black. Of course, you can just paint it fully black if you want, but if you still want some of that, the darker and the lighter areas, you know, you can do that. And then I can also use this and fill in some of those other areas if I maybe wanna go ahead and get like maybe some of those areas in there that the shade didn't go into all of the way. You can certainly come back and try to do that. But this one, you don't want to get on the white spots because this one will be less forgiving because this one's a little darker. That's why I'm using it for the rifle. So, again, you can stop at multiple different places, um, you know, if you want, you know, if you don't want to just shade them, this is kind of like a, a quicker shade version, uh, and then you can do lots of different things with the weapon e either, uh, you can make it, you know, black or gray, or even uh, maybe put some metallics on there, there's lots of other options, but um, yeah, that is, uh, that is it, guys, I, I mean, I, I, you know, we've got some different options, I, I kind of like the way that they came out, and uh, I, I like the... Uh, the kind of the effect of this particular wash looks really good on here and uh, has a lot of detail and this only took a few minutes. So there's a lot more you can do, uh, but this was the easy way. I thought I'd just share that with you. Um, but it also, these uh, these minis are looking fantastic too. I, I definitely like the sculpts. Uh, it's going to be fun playing more clones. All right, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.